Right, what I'm going to do is machine up this chimney casting base. What I've done is I've made an arbor and turned down to a shoulder to fit the hole. Stuck that on there with some Loctite. Now I've just got to take a little skim off of there to get that the right thickness. And these flanges here, they've got to be machined off back to there flat. So we just do that. Now the top's machined down, I've got to get it off of this arbor, turn it around and stick it back on the arbor so then I can set it up to machine this for this curve that sits on the uh, smoke box. Right, as you can see I've turned the casting around on the arbor and with the center of the drill I have centered up this way and locked the cross slide down. Now I've put a scribe line there that is where I've got a machine to with a five inch diameter curve for the smoke box so I've made a five inch disc so I can get the mark somewhere to where I've got a machine to. Now what I'll do, I've locked the carriage down now, the cross slide down in both ways. I'll put the boring head in and then we can start machining. Right, so I've got the boring head in. As you can see, it's not touching the job at the minute. So around here, we can start adjusting the cut and slowly work our way out to that mark. As you can see, it's slowly cleaning up the uh, casting underneath. Right, that's that saddle machined. I get it off at the arbor and try it onto the uh, smoke box. Right, there we are. That goes on there. Let's have a look at the fit. That fits perfect. Right, on here now, what I'll do, I have to do is mark out the holes on the base which are going to be riveted onto the smoke box. And then on here, for the actual base of the chimney, some bolt holes there. These will be cleaned up and drilled. And then the chimney can be uh, folded down.